Is that a donut on a cob? No, is it ice cream? Is it corn? I think it's corn. Mexico City chat. These are my people. What the fuck is this? Oh God. This is why I'm not trying to be like I'm not trying to eat Mexican food because I don't feel like shitting all day. I just genuinely don't. I look at this and I just immediately I can see shit. Not saying that the food would taste like that. I just know my body is not even designed to attach itself to any of the nutrients that is within this. It's just not. I found a corner booth right outside from where I'm staying. This was a perfect opportunity to start my day off with some breakfast. Also, another great way to support the local small business in the neighborhood. It depends I on. Mexico is ran by cartels. The country really is beautiful and the culture is warming. Hmm. So I really want to go to Mexico. So I can end whatever beef y'all think I got. Look at this bun. Wow. All right, here we go. Hmm. Mmm. Oh, yes. Got it. Okay, got it. Yeah, everybody be super charitable and shit. This is how tourists think about cities. They got their own set of problems. Then when they go and they... Never mind. Coke, too. So good. It's like perfect meal for a breakfast. You have your toasted bread dipped in some sauce and fried a little bit with some... I thought that was a plate. Chuga, queso, the potatoes. And then you're hit with like a bunch of different tastes at once. It's really good. I don't feel like it's heavy at all. I, just, I feel like it's perfect for just starting my day for breakfast. It's one of my favorite dishes. That here looks in great. Two dot. Nah, no way. The potatoes. And then you're hit with like a bunch of different tastes. It's perfect for just starting my day for breakfast. It's one of my favorite dishes here. What the fuck? Yo, what else can I get over here for the low? Here in Mexico for street food. I'll look on camera. I look good? You look good, man. You look like MC Rod. I look good. I look good. Look at my eyes up. Woo! You like that? You like that? This on camera, bro, looks nuts. It look good? It do look pretty. It does. Bro, so what? Bro, this some street shit too, man. Like, God. Let me just take a bite. Let me make a mess in my mouth. So it's, um, this is Got the lime on the side. I think that looked like a little avocado laid perfectly on the top on, on a bed just of like, like... Gas was 85 cent back in the day. Don't even seem real. That's facts. How the fuck... So it's started a pupo. It's basically pupo is uh, the word in Spanish for octopus. Okay, el pupo. So, yeah. So el has, pupo. I think it has hot sauce on it, onions, uh, cilantro. Uh, you name it. And I is like this, this like man. a sh tostada or shell or what is this? Uh, it's basically like a. It's like a tortilla. That's fried hard to like, oh. the texture of a Dorito. Okay. So okay. like a. Oh, this so I was right. We consider like uh, the closest thing to our hard tacos in America, you know. Okay, let's get that first bite. All right. Whoa. Go crazy. Go crazy. Oh go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. <laughs> go crazy. Go crazy. <laughs> but they just make it so fresh, bro. It's so cheap. How much is this? Uh, one dollar is uh. Jesus. Cool. So it's like a dollar fifty. So what you think about the food? Um. First, first, first things first. I'm moving to Mexico, man. To Europe, and you're looking, you know, to you know, stretch your money coming out here to eat with the locals, the working class people on their lunch breaks. You're, you're not gonna beat this value. Seafood's expensive in any country. Seafood's even expensive in island nations. Okay. Just wanna uh, take that into consideration. Also, I, I think it's a great, uh, great tasting thing. That I'm coming in here and I'm dropping a thou wow on the whole street of Mexico. That's what I'm doing. I'm dropping a thou wow. Give me all your food. A lot of flavor. Take the week off. So if food is fresh, you know, you can't serve on fresh seafood, man. I, I give it a, a 8 out of 10, man. Mind mm. you, I don't like seafood. I don't eat it off. 8 out of 10. I think on your Here, I've seen the tacos. This year they look next, Colombia is a great place. Beautiful women, food, sights. And did I say women? I'd rather go to Mexico because I feel like Colombia ain't got nothing good for me. Not saying that it doesn't, but at the same time, I feel like that's the highest chance of me dying in some crazy way. Just on some random shit. Like, I feel like it would happen in Colombia. Look pretty good. This carnita spot. And right now, we are in Roma. 
Yeah, that's where the BBL demons be at. I'm good. Yeah, we're in Roma Norte. Right here. Busy street. Lots of street vendors today. Right next to where I'm staying. So I think I chose the perfect spot for the perfect day to do this. But right now, my stomach is ready to eat. I'm gonna try these tacos that I see a lot of people are eating over here. Oh, so okay. See, okay, salsa. Pico de gallo. Man, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, he's getting in the video with thumbnail, yeah. thumbnail. I got the chest hat and everything out. He done been through some shit. He know he I know he a real one. This nigga can cook anything that you can imagine. Appreciate the subs too, by the way. Big 24. Hair hard as fuck. Never seen a style like that. It's not nothing, to be honest. It's literally just braids and uh, what a hair tie. Yeah? I fuck with it, though. I appreciate you. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. He killed somebody before, nigga. The only thing he killing is that fucking kitchen. Don't ever disrespect him. Yo, this is fat, bro. <laughs> okay. How much was that? I don't even know how much is uh couple questions. Fifteen pesos each quince. So fifteen pesos quince. Bro, what is the like I gotta get a con like I gotta get it like a what do you call that? Like a like a like an idea of the economic infrastructure of Mexico because that cannot be a good price. For this level of food, I can't be that. Guanajuato has great food stayed over there and got a whole rotisserie with tortillas, beans, rice, and fixins for six dollars. That sounds fucking crazy. One dollar. That's crazy. It's in the mud? Low, yeah, I uh... Alright, here we go, man. Mm. This, but in a hard tortilla. Hold on. Where the fuck was this nigga going? <laughs> Yo, look at this nigga. I this am nigga... going to Mexico for a family trip this summer. I oh. wanted to see that big Jesus statue, but to my dismay, that shit is Brazil. Oh, yeah, don't go to Brazil. What made him change his mind? He said, nope. I think he saw bro right here. And he was like, yeah, nah, fuck these niggas. You feel me? I always be peeping shit. Because I be looking at niggas looking at me. <laughs> it's not hot. <laughs> it's not hot. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Okay. It wasn't high at first, but now it's like a little bit, like just a little bit, nothing big. He snuck a ghost pepper in this your taco shit. Is, is massive, and, and, and this is only 15 pesos. It's crazy. Let's go again. Oh. There's just so much I can't put all in my mouth. No homo. <laughs> The last thing I expected to hear in this video was no homo, I'm gonna be honest. When you in another country, anything that you wanna do is fair game. When it comes to like, you saying pause and shit. Like if you fuck up, I feel like you just can't be gay in another country for whatever reason. You could fuck up in so many ways vocally and shit like that, it just don't matter. None of it counts when you outside of the US. Shit crazy. Oh, got it. You got to I got to get I got to get some alcohol out there. Oh, I got to get uh, I got to get some. Um, this right here I need me the sweetest roofie in uh in the in the nation. Pineapple, strawberry, and it's in the water. Um, it was only 25 I'm trying to have him put me out. Version right here, but to be able to get fresh food and drink oh my for a dollar or something, and to have it cut up in front of you, like no preservatives, is amazing. I want that one shit. It, what ain't it called? Like Agua Diente or some shit like that? I completely forgot what it was called. I had it one time in my life. Oh my god. 
God, bro, I need more of that. We gonna get some more of that, bro. Look at the, what they got. I'll give him the other one. The fuck is that, a Mexican beat? <laughs> it's literally the same shit you can get anywhere, but since it's in Mexico, it's Mexican. Okay, one and oh, here we go. Grande, what? Oh, wait, huh? Here we go. Grande, oh, what? Somebody else. What size did you get? I like your glasses, though. Wow. Okay. Just a sip. Sip? sip. Oh, God. Okay. Wow, bueno. Okay, guys, now for me, I'm gonna get a smoothie too. I've been craving this all day, so let's see the man work. Look at that. See. See. Banana's big. Oh. Mm. See. No, he bought regular size. They look thicker though. Wow. Okay, Papi. <laughs> yeah. Yo, he. Yo, he loving. Okay. You found the show. Nah, y'all ain't seen the original bananas. The OG bananas, if you think these big, nigga. Oh, I need me a drink. <laughs> I need a drink. And they fill it up to the brain. I mean, to the brim. I don't know where my mouth was. Gracias. So here's the smoothie. I ordered a banana, strawberry, mm. and mango. My mm. Here we go, right? mm. I need to get me a smoothie real quick. Oh, okay, I'm not supposed to do her that. Yo, that's fresh. That's fresh. What? So 40 pesos. This is crazy. Guys, right, so my boy Anthony had to leave for the rest of the day. But no worries, we got someone just as cool. This is my friend Anahi. Hey. <laughs> She's gonna be helping me show me some other places where we can get some more street food. So more okay, food like okay. Tortas, give me a tour, sorditas, give me a tour. Lauta, something like that. She's gonna show us around. Thank you for taking the time to help me with this video. I cannot have done this without you. Thank Y'all think I could find a tour guide in Mexico within 15 minutes of landing and not get killed? What are my odds? So let's begin. Why y'all seeing zero? Oh my God, look at that. Wow. <laughs> How would I look out of place? Do you find it disrespectful, Sean, to go to another country and not try to speak the language? No. Fuck I look like. I'm going to be here for a week. I don't need to learn. I know I need to know like probably three things. Money. Food. If we get cool, fuck. That's it. I don't need to learn that much. I'm going to be respectful. I'm not going to go nowhere I'm not allowed. I'm not going to like disrupt the, disrupt or disturb the rules. I'm going to make a friend and be on my way. That's all you can really do. I'm going to try the carne with uh, my hand. Here we go. This is flautas. Right. Here we go. Uh, 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 let me jump out. I love women. She's my type FR. Why? Because she has um, very wanting eyes. Mm. <laughs> 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 some sauce in there. Okay. So I, guys, I asked if she liked it, and it's good. Oh, perfect. The first one was good. Now we're gonna try mm. the papas. Next, all right. So here we go. And it's it's like a long uh, tostada. Okay. It's got a 
Okay. It's like a long taco. And, uh, we had to put some sauce on it, so it looks really good now. Here we go, right? Mm. Mm. Hampton bro, wait, Sean gonna get dodged because of his clips if he ever come to Mexico? Y'all got hackers in Mexico? Mm. That's good. That's really good. It's pollo. It's pollo. It's a mozico. Ah, um, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out what is exactly flauta. So she was telling me this is the cheese queso. Okay. Uh, crema. Right. Chuga, which is like the lettuce. And then the long, which I thought. Nigga. <laughs> Any country you go to, you're going to stand out. You got that American look. Nah, I think I just got that aura, nigga. It's okay to just say, you know, nigga, I think you sexy. Like, just say it. Sean, is it strange that I know to make all these foods? You mean strange? I love to cook. Nah, I don't think it's strange. I respect it, to be honest. I love people with big palates. You feel me? I grew up eating Hispanic food and Asian food. No, you didn't. Truly blessed. You found out what you was your favorite dish growing up, Sean. I don't know for real, Blarity, but I feel like you found out you was biracial when you was 16 and you just embraced it ever since. Just being honest, keeping it a thou wow. Second of all, I don't really have much cultural food. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of American based. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't really have shit. You know, now that I think about it, I never really embraced a specific culture, you know? So it's kind of crazy. But like dish wise, it's just like, I don't know. I don't really have nothing too crazy in mind. I'm a little traditional when it comes to that side of the spectrum, you know? It's fucked up. I gotta grab somebody else's culture and make it my own. A fear of mine is going to another country to get a haircut just to try something new. If mm. they fucked me up, I wouldn't come back. Why would you get a haircut in another country? What would ever trigger you to do some shit like that? Not only are you cheating on your barber, but you go into an entire different country to do it. Fucking wild. It's going down in here. I'm with the that's like that's like flirt that's like flirting with a woman and you're a married man in Venezuela, right? Or in fucking wherever the fuck nomads land. You go over there, and you go crazy, and you bring you you bring your wife back something. Now, I'm not saying you're going to guarantee yourself to bring back something because she's in another country. I'm just saying, when I think about it from that perspective, why take an additional risk? You already cheating. At least do it locally. You know what I'm saying? Why go to a whole other country where something get fucked up? Like, you basically got to ruin your life and be in exile. That's just how I feel about it. Like, why, even, ta why even take that risk? Sean, do you cut your own lining? Yeah, I do. I think you would eat... I'm not going to respond to that. What's the strangest thing you guys ever eaten? I can't tell you that. Locally? So I need to come to the south. South what? It's more of a taco. <laughs> and then the seasoning, which is optional. And it comes in three different flavors or styles, which is like fried chicken and res. Res, which is like meat. Mm, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. And you know what I'm a, you know what the title of this video gonna be? I love Mexicans. Night. <laughs> you ready for the next tortas? Si. Si. Okay. <laughs> Vamos. So now we finished eating the flautas. We are going to now eat tortas. And I can feel my stomach getting heavier as we're advancing to more Mexican food in the street. But this is really good i've heard a lot about it so i cannot wait to try it nigga said she feeling him see that's the i'd be the confusion with some niggas like a girl smile and then that's it oh she wants you she ain't even she just chilling she cooling she happy why because she eating food for the free ski i'll be happy as hell too what the fuck right now uh, it looks like a sandwich uh, like you know your basic ingredients of like tomatoes cheese meat and lettuce milanesa and you know, all that her belly I'm just full on God. Food. I'd be happy as fuck. I got a I got a belly full of full of food. I'm walking around with my peoples. Drinks for free. Nigga, this is a beautiful day. First bite. Here she goes. Um. <laughs> that shit look good wow. as fuck. We didn't they didn't ate like seven it times. Mm -hmm. like, wow, let's look at that again. The tortas, if you look closely, we have the tomatoes, a little bit of jalapeno with a toasted bread, cheese, 
Milanesa. Oh my god. And it's a complete sandwich with avocado. Yeah. So I'm gonna take my first bite. Look at this, yo. This what? is crazy. Look at it. What? All right, my nigga, it don't look good when you do it. Just eat it, man! This is not a sponsor, but this is like, look at this tiny piece. Tomato, the avocado, the cheese, milanesa, everything. Niggas look. be doing too much. Fuego. Uh, tortas. Wow, avocado, tota, milanesa. Uh, todo. Todo junto? Todo. Sí. Everything. Sí. And everything that we ordered here came up to be 68 pesos. Right there. Wait, what about Mexico's? Whoa, I don't know what the fuck I just said. Why did you just type to me completely in Spanish? Cheese. We are really close to the statue. Angel Independencia. It's right over there. This is her business right here. Elotes y Esquites. And we're gonna try What do you call those? What she is? It's not it's not Tios. It's like Abuela. Yeah, Abuela. Hey, what I've heard about Need you Abuela. For a long time, the Esquites. So pretty much it's like uh it's maize, but we call it corn. And then How the fuck am I weird? I called her abuela. There's mayonnaise, cheese, and chile with some lima. So we're gonna give it a try right now. Taste more of what Mexican food has to offer here in Mexico City. So here we go. Why would you call a random lady abuela? Nigga, you don't know me. Said, Sean, how long would you survive in the Mexican prison? I wouldn't be in prison in Mexico. Would I be in prison? Potentially. Would I be in Mexico? Potentially. But would I be in prison in Mexico? Never. Wow, it's hot. Jeez. It's really hot. Here we go. It has a punch to it. It's a different flavors that I, I was not expecting. I thought this was cold. This is actually really hot. So mostly I'm tasting like the lemon taste to it. Bro, oh my God. I think this would be great if I was like sick something i would mm. eat to feel better this is actually pretty good it's like mexican chowder mm. <laughs> rico? Mm -hmm. all right it's gonna get the corn in there okay all i knew right. it was corn nice from the very beginning yes, of the video i said it was corn did not i said it I, I, I said it was corn i said it was corn i know i said it Good See, one. I said it. Oh, wow. I said Rico. it. I said it. Get all covered, glazed the cheese. Okay, covering it all. It was just covered with cheese. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> shit crazy. When I know shit, I know it. Okay. I've seen this a lot, like everywhere, and I've never tried it. Given I'm from LA. So it's pretty cool to see that I'm going to eat this here in Mexico City. This is the elotes, which is pretty much like the same corn like I explained before. Covered in mayonnaise, chile, and cheese. All of it. Okay. So, uh, I respect it. By the size. It's kind of heavy, but you'll be okay. I respect here, it. Try it out right now, all right? Mmm. Mmm. That's a lot, bro. Look at your mouth. I'm not eating this. You can't eat this. It's certain foods. Like, I get it. When a nigga told me before he can't eat hot dogs and popsicles and all these other dick shaped foods in public, cool. But like this, I just can't eat. It's, it's like too messy. It's too messy. Not even because it looked crazy. You know what I'm saying? Walking around with this type of shit on your lips. But it just looks insane. <laughs> it's too much to clean up. You know, I'm going to have to lick too many times, bro. I got to clean my fingertips and shit. Like, if, if the food might be messy, no pun intended. I can't, I can't eat it. I thought it would be different from the Esquitas, but it's, it tastes exactly the same. It's just like a different format. You could have this food either in a cup or in a, in a, on a stick. It's mm. the same thing, slightly different taste depending on what you put on it, but it's the same thing. Got I, you. I think I prefer 
more of the cup version. Got you, Nick. Like controlled chaos isn't got the you. Your face got or you. But this is all still pretty cool too. Right. Are these pancakes? Those are not pancakes. I doubt it. Yeah, I knew it. Right here, I've heard so much about these little treats. I've seen them in every pocket here and there in the streets. Uh, right now, I'm back in Romasor, and I found this stand right here where they're making the little gorditas. So I'm gonna give it a try right now. Just ordered a pack of five. You don't eat messy food. What about wings? Well, wings are the exception. Five. It comes in the back. I could, I could, I could literally disintegrate a wing in 0.5 seconds. You don't I like this. So he's already got it prepped, ready to make for us. <laughs> Thank you. He not fucking this with thing you. This thing actually looks like mini pancakes, and it smells like. That's what I said. Things gonna taste really good. Uh, is that actually yes. uh, <laughs> The size of like a bagel bite. It's really hot, freshly made. The smell of it is is like a cinnamon smell. We're gonna try right now and see what this actually tastes like. So here we go. Go ahead, put it out there for the people, for the hoes. So I need a drink. It tastes like a mini pancake. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. This is I a knew nine it. out of ten. And this was uh, 25 pesos. Definitely recommend. Oh. Okay, so I just ordered the beria. Okay. Saying it completely wrong, I cannot. Oh, that look good. Waters, but it's kind of like a quesadilla taco that you. Oh, get that look good. The, oh my in god. This, in this sauce right here, it smells so good. I'm waiting for the food to come here now and try this out. And it's gonna be the last of the video. This is gonna just end it off. We have this actually in California, and I've eaten it there before. But I want to see how much different it tastes here in the city. I have the well, this one's a quesadilla. Okay. And this is the the media, media. Yeah, right. And then all you have to do is dip this one. In Just dip the fucking food, man. Here, either or, and then try it out. So I'm gonna put some lemon on both of them because I love lemon. And boom. Here we go. Mm. Mm. That's fine. And the second one. Go ahead, go crazy. Go crazy. You're making me mad. <laughs> I can't so even be mad. Cool is you can also just eat this soup with the spoon itself. That's what I was thinking. And this quesadilla is the corn. A nigga like me, I'm putting a whole spoonful of that in my mouth, and then I'm gonna eat the taco, so I don't even have to dip it. Think smarter, my boy. And I'm gonna get more sauce on it, basically. That's what you really gotta do. And there's the flour, and they both have. Uh, steak and cheese inside of it. Mm. Good solid taste to it. I like that there's onions in here. I love onions. Oh God, man, do it. I, I love, I, I love that. Itself, honestly, on a cold rainy day. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the entire street food I did, tour man. that I, I did. took you guys along with. I am good vid, man. full. Here we would say estoy lleno, completely full. I hope you had a good time watching Great me time. eat all those foods here. Great in time! I'm City. going to Mexico. If you want to see more food tours? Click the videos in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next video, guys. Take it easy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, yo, in the video, I'm tired of clapping. Yo, that's good shit right there, man. <sighs> see, the problem with me is I get attached, like, too quickly. I start getting some shit from there. You know what I'm saying? I hit it off of one of the women up there that's making the tacos and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, I'll extend my plight. Okay, I'll do it again. Okay, I'll do it again. Okay, like, whatever, bro. Like, I guess I'll do it again. Now I'm here for six months, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's going on? You're pregnant? Like, before I know it, I'm never seeing my mom again.